took us back 90%. Yeah, burn them. And then we'll just read Fletcher's friend. Load. MP3 player with sure. Yeah. And let's have truck a bar. Boost them. Razor's not going to fill the room with smoke. Doesn't work that way. Razor and ovens and such have a chance to let loose a little puff of smoke that will enter one of the tiles directly adjacent for a short few seconds, and then it dissipates immediately. So every once in a while, you'll take a lung full of smoke if you're standing next to a brazier or a, an oven. Doesn't fill the room or anything crazy like that. <clears throat> if you're in good health, it has absolutely no effect and no difference, so there's no danger. Now, if you have a stove, a uh, wooden stove, for example, that has the big flue that goes up and uh, funnels the smoke out of the area. So wood fireplaces, the big metal stoves have the uh, flues that channel the smoke out of the room. So you don't have a chance for the smoke escaping from those. Six o'clock. Correct. Fire is contained in the bridger. He was talking about just lighting a fire on the concrete floor. If you didn't have a brazier or the ability to make one, for instance, you could just light a fire over here in the corner and it wouldn't spread. Similarly to labs, you can light fires in labs pretty safely. Clear out uh, fungal infected areas and such. Okay, let's uh, turn off the candle. Any other gear that I don't need? Keep those, keep that. Kevlar's up across the street. All right, we'll lead him out of the area. And soldier zombie in the path. I'm about to try to ride my bike. Because of course he is. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> it might work. What's what's wrong with it? Yeah, water pump. It'll work. 1% battery. Might be a little tough if it doesn't start on the first try. Unfortunately, with a an engine that damaged, it might fail the first attempt, which will drain the battery, and then we won't be able to try again. So it's, it's working adjacent. <laughs> but it's got uh, diesel. All I'd have to do is get uh, level 1 mechanics so we can... We can swap out the battery and um, we'd be able to roll around in the armored car. So it's got everything there. Security system's broken, but all the doors are good. I'm not going to try it right now. We'll drive around a little more, or, or bike around a little more. Kevlar Zombie is going to chase the kitty cat. Good luck, Mr. Kitty Cat. All right, what do we got going on over here? A little three-house town of Templeton. Ambulance. 
There is my preferred vehicle, the Humvee, and it has uh, it has wheels. Can't see the driver's seat. Can't see the engine block. Get to a position where I can. There we go. So I love the Humvees, no controls. Damn it. Humvees are awesome because they don't have security systems, unlike the armored car. So it removes one of the possible blockers from being able to drive the vehicle. One of the very common blockers. That was awesome right up until the lack of controls. batch of gear. Guess I should check it also. Wheels, security system, a little bit of gas, faulty engine. Nope, not going anywhere in that. A really lightly populated town. So far it's only had a few zombies. One feral human. Electric sports car. SUV does have wheels. No controls. Okay, no no working vehicles. Up oh, one more military vehicle on the far side. Ten APC. I hate driving around in APCs. No controls. No controls. Not great. Not great. Bon zombie. Jumper cable for low battery car. Well, for that to be useful, you have to bring another car to that car in order to jump it. And if you already have another car, you don't need that car necessarily. At least in my current circumstances. Now, if I was trying to swap vehicles, maybe. Alternatively, you just get Mac 1, you bring the car there, and then you just rip the battery out of the car you brought and stick it in the other car, and off you go. I've never used jumper cables. <laughs> I did a tutorial video on it like three years ago, and I've never since ever once used jumper cables. Nah, they only go a few spaces. You, you gotta be really close to be able to jump something. I'm deciding whether I want to kill this feral human. What is this item he's got? Is that, That's not the crowbar, is it? I don't know what that item is. I can recognize the axe. But I don't recognize whatever that is. No, I don't want to fight him. No stamina. Or low stamina. Uh, all the zombies are hanging out inside the buildings. Hydrated vegetables, toastums, chicken and dumplings. Let's go south, see if the uh, trailhead has any any vehicles. Nope, no vehicles. Water pump, no vehicles. So, there's a ranch. Mm, I thought they had specific file graphics for the item they had. I know I've seen them previously with, like, the fire axe.
Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Bad woodland creatures. I'll leave the ranch alone for now. It could have some gear. Um, uh, I don't have much in the way of books. Sometimes it has a few items. But we'll leave that alone for the moment. Damn, these things are fast. That's a bit of a problem. Too many bad guys in there. Uh, I think I'm done with backpacks. <laughs> Football armor. think there's anything left in the uh, kitchen random junk drawers that I care about. Duplex. That's the bathroom. I'm not going to worry about that. Really? <laughs> yeah, let's get our stamina back first. I don't know, 
I'm kind of leery of uh, <laughs> leery of basements now. Well, we got a map at least. Foam rubber bat. There you go. That's what you got to try to do a challenge with. Foam rubber bat. Hey, where's my combat stats? <laughs> Come on, give it a token attack value. Jeez. Are we supposed to have any fun? Can't close it from this side. Damn it! <laughs> uh, you piece of crap. Let's see. For another door. Hope my stamina doesn't go before. <laughs> Okay, that's not cool. Solar vehicle in the garage to the north, but so all the solar panels are trashed. No vehicle in that garage. Wasps in the area. I think I need to stop focusing on houses. Yes, there are still some random items that could pop up that I would find useful, but I got plenty of food. I got all the basic tools I'll get out of the kitchens. So we're down to just the luck of the draw, random stuff. Problem I have is I'm pretty... Now I'm on the opposite side of all the commercial districts where the stuff I really want to get to are. Still haven't found a working vehicle. on the road. Necro. Hmm, it's getting a lot more crowded than I anticipated. Way more crowded than I anticipated. Oh crap. Well, this is a problem. <laughs> huh. 
What the hell happened here? Apparently I attracted more guys from the north than I expected. Um, south of that other house? Try to circle wide? Not good. This is one of the worst situations because I got so many zombies already coming after me. I don't have the speed to stay ahead of a large number of them. And the fast movers are going to harass me while I'm trying to uh, make range. If I just run out into the the, the, <laughs> the the plains or the open area, that's the thing I tell new players not to ever do. That is really bad circumstance. I had no idea that many were going to come up behind me and park on my bike. And I'm gonna hit adrenaline, run east back towards this setup. I'll stay ahead of a good amount of these if I just run a slight bit and then go back to walk mode. The flyers are gonna catch me, the dog might catch me. Not too many runners in my way though, or real close. I can chop them up if I have to. Yeah, I need to be heading towards something. I'm not going out in the middle of the f open area. Uh... I go. I came out here. Way, so the stuff that saw me is over this way. The only other option I can think of is to try to go up this way into the house and then circle back around again. All of this stuff will chase me in. And when I loop back around, I might have access to the bike. But too many of these things are going to pull this direction because that's the last place they saw me. So, no, nah, that won't work either. All right, it's going to be a foot race. It's going to be a foot stamina race. So let's... I'm going to move a few before I activate the, uh, the adrenaline. Back to walk mode. Just how bad this race is going to be. I'm faster than most of these guys. The only ones that worry me are the two flyers and the dogs. They're going to catch me. Everything else I'm faster than. So it's going to be another one of those slow-mo runs. And of course the necro is going to be hanging back there, rezzing. As soon as I kill the flyers, the necro is going to just bring them back up again. All right. I think it's time to uh, pop the adrenaline. I gotta be very careful to make sure I keep keep my lead. I'm gonna do run for a little bit. So we have an adrenaline rush. Intelligence minus three, speed plus ten, and we also get stamina recovery. So we're gonna get an increase in our stamina regen rate plus the uh, the ten points of speed boost. Now we're going to pick our way north, avoiding grass spaces. I'm hoping I can get to the building before anything catches up to me so I can get doors between me and them. And then we should be okay after that. I'll do a long loop around and we'll go back and get our bike at some point. Alright, now we go back to walk mode. Out the front. Hope there's nothing too nasty out here. Let's see. Back around to the west now, or...
Got stuff out here too I gotta worry about, so baiting do I loop up to this one? Building's gonna block their line of sight for most of them. I could work my way up. Oh, never mind, the wasp is up there. I don't want to go up there either. Alright, we're gonna try to go out this way. I should be able to kill whatever's out here without too much problem. I want to stay in the shadow of the building as long as I can. Ah, the flyer got a rent. Alright, we're gonna kill a few things right out here. What are we on? Mono, CQ... Oops. Um... Yeah, combatives will be fine. Okay, what else we got coming? Kevlar zombie? I don't want to deal with a Kevlar zombie either, damn it. He can't see me currently. 41 to the southeast. Shriekers coming for me though. He's going to attract that guy. Let's go up into the woods. He didn't daze me? Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. I don't think I can split the gap. I don't think I can get by him without attracting attention. We're going to wait here until I get my breath back. Still on the adrenaline rush, are we? Necro does not raise pulp, pulp, pulp corpses. Pulped is gone for good. Nothing brings back pulped. I'm going to try to split the difference. I don't mind the regular zombies. Like I said, those I can outrun. I want the Kevlar. I don't want the Necro to be. Boomer, Crawler. Still camping on my bike. <laughs> Bastards! I want my bike back. Hmm. Might be better just to uh, go back home, <laughs> settle in for the day, do a little bit of light reading, and then uh, sleep till night, and then go back and get our bike in the dark. We took a look at the uh, the initial area here. That'll give the zombies a chance to kind of maneuver around and do their thing. Okay. Soldier zombies coming for me. Um. Ah, bloated zombie. I don't want to go straight back into my building either right now. 
I'll need to lose my pursuers and then come back. Alright, do a little bit of running. Stop chasing me anytime now. Now it's the bloated that I don't want to get the attention of, so we'll go this way and kill these light zombies. Should be a pretty clean return back home. The only downside is I dropped some food items into the basket of the bike, but that's not a big deal. We still got plenty here. Oh, didn't use my tourist kit. We'll pop back upstairs and fire off those things. Oh, let's leave. Run. Okay, what do we got? Long road up to a big old city. A river running through everything. Yep, river running right in between these two cities. Also, direct divide north south. Um, that's not really. Cool. Yeah, this is not great. This is not great. Not super happy about the map. We will make do. Now that we don't have the infection to worry about, we got options as soon as we can get a hold of a working vehicle. All right, back downstairs. Coming up on seven o'clock. Like I said, we're just gonna read for a bit. Candle going, and let's keep working on. Let's get mechanics to one so we can do the basic swap out a battery thing. Oh yeah. That's good. Chocolate bar. And some put. We'll read till about 11 o'clock. We'll uh, sleep the day away. Yeah, I haven't been in there yet. It's locked. I didn't want to bang on the door earlier. Whoops. My bad. Either Korg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'll be awesome right up until I actually try to smack the queen. <laughs> 
is it actually possible to melee the queen? Honestly. Even with the most ridiculously over-the-top magic and bionics and so on, do you think that it's really possible to, to melee kill the queen? I'm curious. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Well, I, it's not so much melee as it, I'm not allowed to use a vehicle with mounted weapons, so I can't just drive around and 50 cal the queen to death. <laughs> so... Whether I'm ranged, firing guns, casting spells, or so on, whatever. But I'm not allowed to just roll up in my Humvee with 14 laser turrets and, and shoot her with my uh, mounted weapons. <laughs> we'll see. We'll do whatever we can to, to power up and... Maybe give it a few few tries, a test or two. <laughs> Who knows? Try to do some range damage, and if that doesn't work well, then we'll we'll just say YOLO and head on in. Okay, we got our mechanics to one. Yay us. Off the candle. Off the MP3 player. Huddle up on our sofa. Uh, I'm not going to worry about... Well, we'll put makeshift band. We'll just do makeshift bandages. I don't want to use the real stuff. We haven't found a good supply of them yet. I think it is time for nappy. This is where I go to sleep and I wake up with a, uh, you know, Kevlar Hulk tapping me on the shoulder, politely asking me to uh, share some couch space. Off your own speed and fire bullets. We'll see. I'm hoping to go. What? Uh, Technomancer, Storm Shaper, Magus, Biomancer? I think that's the four. But hopefully, we can pick up Synaptic Stimulation and Bless and Run Like the Wind or whatever that Storm Shaper is one and, <laughs> you know, jack our speed up to ridiculous degrees and. And start laying uh, spells and gunfire on her. It's all a long way off. Don't don't fret about it too much. <laughs> Got a long way to go before we're going to be trying to tag the uh, Spider Queen. You completed the achievement. Oh my goodness. I completed an achievement. Okay, we're hungry and thirsty. Let's go fill our belly with water first. Uh, 8 o'clock. It's not quite dark yet. So, handle MP3 player. Have some... Eh, we'll save the chocolate bar. We'll have some postum, some beet cereal. That'll be good enough for now. What are we working on? Don't have too many options. Let's go with um, Fab, I guess. Yeah, Demon Spider Queen is really, really, really hard.
All right, got the junk ditched. Ouch. Ouch. <clears throat> Time to unload the blazer. Not sure how much warmth that's providing me. On the edge of our head warmth. Take a look at that. Get a cap or something. All right, satisfied, turgid, good stats, no negative consequences. And before I keep going, I'm going to take my break. We're almost coming up on four hours. I haven't taken a break yet. So let me go do that. Grab something to drink, stretch the legs. Be back with you here in just a short bit.